Hello everyone. Our topic today was requested by all of these lovely people. We'll be going over Yuki Turumi from the Blaze Blue franchise. Spoilers for all things Blaze Blue. Le Duh. So first things first, a bit of world setup. We're only going to go over the bare bones here, but you can check out our lore on Ragna for a more detailed explanation. For our purposes, what's important to know is that in the Blaze Blue verse, there is a sliver of creation called the Boundary, a sort of place between realities. This is the source of much of the world's magic, as well as the birth and resting place of the living soul. It's also a physical location with unique laws of reality that are generally lethal to the average person. Nestled deep within the boundary lie three immensely powerful machines, one called the Master Unit, which grants its pilot the ability to manipulate time and reality, and two subservient units designed to protect the Master Unit, a powerful protection device and a powerful engine of destruction, essentially a sword and a shield. Long before the time of the games, a war was started that resulted in Earth lying in ruins and the Master Unit's pilot in a constant battle with a powerful AI. That battle created a reality where the same world was born and reborn over and over and over again, with time and reality constantly being rewritten as the two sides sought their respective goals, meaning time travel and reality alteration are dizzyingly common in this series, with characters from multiple timelines interacting at once and individual stories being rewritten even as they move forward. The story of Turumi, our topic today, begins with the Master Unit's subservient sword machine, the Susanoo Unit. The Susanu unit is essentially a suit of armor that grants the pilot tremendous destructive power and seemingly allows the wearer to survive the otherwise dangerous environment of the boundary. Over an unknown but presumably vast period of time, the Susanu unit gained both a consciousness and a living soul. This being eventually took on the name Yuki Turumi. Turumi resented his role as a servant to the Master Unit, both destined and compelled to destroy that which the Master Unit created at the Master Unit's discretion. Turumi can arguably be called the overarching antagonist of the entire Blaze Blue series, and the reasons for why all stem from his origin as the Susanu Unit. His entire personality and goal system revolves around creating as much destruction, chaos, death, discord, pain, misery, confusion, and hatred as possible. He is literally the worst kind of person. Throughout the franchise, he takes great delight in torturing those around him, both physically and psychologically. He manipulates people to further his own goals and usually tries to completely screw them over in the process. Murder isn't so much a hobby or an interest as a casual pastime, like you or I might wipe up a small spill on a countertop. He sows chaos and suffering seemingly for its own sake and often almost at random. Even when he works with allies, he constantly needles, belittles, berates, insults, and condemns them. And the worst part of it all is that every single one of these actions is not, in fact, random, but are all carefully planned. Because on top of being a grade-A dirtbag, he's incredibly intelligent. His own power and knowledge are vast already, but he draws strength from pain, hatred, and suffering, which is why he tries to get even his allies to hate him. He also seeks to destroy everything the Master Unit has ever created, which is virtually everything at this point, up to and including the destruction and or control of the Master Unit itself, and he guides, subtly or otherwise, anyone he can possibly influence to help further his goals in this regard. He's also fully aware of the possibility that despite the fact that he is consciously working against the Master Unit and his pilot, by very nature of being a creature of destruction, all of his plans to destroy the Master Unit and everything it's made may well be part of his purpose and design, which he finds utterly infuriating. Tarumi's role as overarching antagonist extends all the way back to the world-destroying history prior to the events of the games we mentioned earlier. Sometime after attaining consciousness, Tarumi allowed himself to be discovered by humanity and separated his new soul from the Susanoo body. Allowing humanity to discover the existence of the Master Unit in the process, intentionally or not, and letting people secretly use the Susano's power for their own gain. While Tarumi himself existed either in spirit form or by possessing the bodies of seemingly willing hosts. Fast forward to the time of the games, and Tarumi uses two to three hosts over the course of the series. We say two to three hosts because Tarumi's first host was a young man named Kazuma Kaval, and while it seems fairly heavily inferred that Kazuma dies, the details are fuzzy enough that it's possible for Kazuma and Tarumi's next host, Hazama Hanaka, to be the same person. That being said, it seems to be generally accepted that Kazuma and Hazama are two different people. Lastly, at some point, Turumi reacquires the Susanoo armor, which should technically be able to act as a separate body or host altogether. 
In the world that exists at the time of the games, Turumi's influence can be greatly felt across the globe, as he was responsible for founding both of the two opposing major socio-political factions on the planet and manipulates both groups for his own gain. Additionally, he also created the Azure Grimoire, the primary source of magical power used by the series' protagonist of Blaze Blue and Turumi's arch-nemesis, Ragna. With the help of a powerful and amoral wizard, Turumi improved upon the Azure Grimoire's design, and rather than making an object out of it, Ragna's Azure Grimoire manifested as a replacement for his severed arm and eye, actually forged both Hazuma and Kazuma entirely from this magic substance. Kazuma Kaval was the first host we see Turumi inhabit, and is a testament to the corrupting influence of Turumi's nature. Despite seemingly being created for Trumi as a host, Kazuma, and later Hazama as well, had a functioning consciousness and soul of his own before ever being possessed by Turumi. In Kazuma's case, he didn't have any memories of the purpose of his creation, nor even knew that he had been created, but he did have a moral compass and a generally friendly, if awkward, disposition. So, when Turumi approached him, offering him power in exchange for bonding the two of them together, Kazuma was initially reluctant, and it took Turumi manipulating him into seeing betrayal and deceit all around him before the two agreed to join into one body. A process that was ironically aided by a group that knew what Trumi was doing, and thus tried to assassinate Kazuma before he could be bonded as a host. The efforts of the assassins were in vain, however, as the two melded together as one, giving Trumi an anchor to the world, as existing purely in spirit form was very taxing, and control of the body, while vastly enhancing the Kazuma body's power. Despite slaying all the assassins, Turumi was captured and magically imprisoned for some time. During their incarceration, Turumi's personality steadily infected Kazuma until, despite being two separate entities, they shared virtually the same goals, motivation, and general personality traits. Eventually, though, Turumi was freed from imprisonment and drafted into battling the Black Beast, a tremendously powerful magic-based monster that threatened all life in the world. Using mind control, a wizard bound Turumi to her will, forcing him to aid humanity against the Black Beast as he would have no interest in doing so otherwise. Through his extensive knowledge, they learned more about the Black Beast, it was not the first nor the last of its kind, such as how to track and defeat it. His knowledge was also instrumental in teaching humanity to construct powerful artifacts that were used in combating the Black Beast and would remain important items in the world throughout the games. Between these contributions and his work on the battlefield, Turumi was hailed as one of the six heroes, the six people most directly responsible for saving the world from the Black Beast's rampage. A few years passed with Turumi still under mind control. However, unbeknownst to the other heroes, the mind control only affected Turumi's consciousness. So, he made use of Kazuma's consciousness to undermine their efforts and eventually even manipulated another wizard in the group into dispelling the mind control from Turumi's mind. Once freed, Turumi slew both wizards, felling two of the six heroes by his own hand, before engaging two more in combat, only to have one of them, wearing the Susanoo armor no less, drag Turumi into the boundary while the other shut the portal behind them. This is the point where it is likely that the Kazuma body and mind died. When he returned to the world decades later, Turumi inhabited a new synthetic body, this one going by the name Hazama. If the two ever had any issues fusing into a single being, we never see it. However, thanks to lingering effects from the mind control curse he'd been under, Turumi was never able to fully subsume Hazma's consciousness, and so the two shared the body, with Turumi being in control, but often allowing Hazma to act in his stead as the two shared similar goals and personalities. Plus, letting Hazma run the body gave Turumi additional protection against weaponry that specifically targeted the soul, and if he needed to, he could assume command of the body at any time. It was while wearing Hazuma's skin that Turumi would encounter the current Ragna. Turumi burned down the young Ragna's home, killed the nun who cared for the child Ragna and his siblings, abducted Ragna's sister, and manipulated Ragna's brother Jin into cutting off Ragna's arm, successfully instilling a lifelong and empowering hatred for Turumi within the young Ragna. In the years and games that followed, Turumi rode Hazama's body and they traveled the world sowing chaos and destruction. He fended off attacks from Ragna, pursued twisted agendas, hunted down the remaining members of the six heroes while being hunted by them in turn. Everything was coming up aces for Turumi until he was cornered by two of the six heroes, one of the mages who'd sort of survived Turumi's killing her decades before, and the other the warrior that wore the Susanoo armor. The wizard separated Turumi and Hazama, crafting a weaker body for Turumi before the Susanoo warrior engaged him in a battle which concluded when Turumi was struck with a blow that would have killed literally almost any other being, and which nearly killed even him. Turumi was able to use all of his considerable might to ensure that he wouldn't fade from existence, but even with all of his power, he knew he'd only last about a week in this state. Severed from Hazama's body and roaming the world Voldemort style, he quickly sought out Hazama to use and anchor his body once again, as doing so would remove the timer on Turumi's life. 
When they met, Hazama agreed to host Turumi again, but due to Turumi's weakened state, Hazama had primary control this time. For a brief while, Turumi and Hazama worked alongside a destructive aspect of the Master Unit's pilot. She had lots of shards of herself in the world, who at the time was more powerful than they were. Before Turumi was able to absorb a bit of the pure power of the Boundary, empowering him enough that he was able to separate he and Hazama into separate bodies, as Hazama had been trying to consume Turumi. Now a fully functional being on his own, Turumi took back the Susanoo armor, restoring him presumably to full power or more, and set out to destroy the Master Unit. Through the combined efforts of Ragna, his brother Jin, and others, Turumi was stripped of the Susanoo armor, and then he and Ragna engaged in a final epic battle. In the end, Turumi lost and finally experienced true and permanent death, ridding the world of arguably its greatest plaguing influence once and for all. And that's basically Yuki Turumi, evil antagonist of the Blast Blue franchise. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave us a like and share it with someone you know might like it. If you have ideas for videos you'd like to see in the future, do like all of these lovely people and let us know in the comments down below. If you'd like to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to see our Let's Plays, follow the link in the description and subscribe to our Let's Play channel. In the meantime, this has been True, True Masters, Masters and Morons, signing, signing off. off.